Well, welcome to this presumably last last talk of uh, of this afternoon. Um, I come from Stuttgart University of Applied Sciences, and I am uh, I would say an, an advocate for open data and and open open source etc. So, uh, since a couple of years, and I I always try to 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 to. I'm a professor, and I, I try to bring um, open open data and open source to the uh, attention of, of my students, so they are um, able to use it. And I was very uh, interested how can open data contribute to the uh, to the da data about building stocks, it means about buildings in the cadastral maps in our state of. Uh, Baden-Württemberg in Germany, and my in my talk I want to start with the, to show the importance of the of fundamental geospatial data sets and the po possible contribution of um, volunteer geographic geography. Then I will introduce a research methodology, and I will briefly introduce a municipality where we uh, took in in uh, analyzed. Uh, during our research, then we will present the results for the most part, and finally I will come to some con con conclusion. Basically, of course, we are, uh, I guess all of us are, are cons convinced that geodata are, are, uh, have very high importance, and one is, uh, I'd like just to, to bring to your attention two, two approaches, uh, the so-called Global Fundamental Geospatial Data Themes of UN GGIM, and uh, afterwards uh, the, the data themes of the European in, Inspire um, di Directive. Basically, we have a couple of data sets there, and I, um, which are listed on this slide and on, on the next slide, and I, I tried to, to uh, mark in, in red how people uh, volunteered uh, with volunteered geographic could can can support or where we can use open data or open data and especially to contribute to these data sets. What we see is of course addresses. We have it in maps um, and in cadastral data as, as well. We we need information about buildings and settlements and of course we need geographical names as we have seen before in, in stock before. And of course, we, uh, uh, we uh, open street map data can uh, can contribute to information about land cover and land use, and to a certain extent also to, about land passes, at least in some parts of, of the earth. Okay, and in open street map we have a lot of information about the physical infra infrastructure and and as well about transport networks and about water bodies. This means there are many, many fields where, where uh, open data can con contribute to these uh, fundamental data sets. And if we, we have, oh, I wanted to remove this, and if you have a look to the Inspire data themes, this is also some kind of catalog of um, fundamental data sets which are relevant, especially for environmental um, topics. Uh, cross boundary topics, and we, if, we, if you have, have a look, this is a high level of similarity. For example, we have again addresses, we have cadastral passes, we have transport networks, we have hydro, hydrography, we have geographic names, and so on and so on. This means we have quite a lot of official documents which clearly depict that, that for the, how should I say, for the welfare of the of the human beings, we should have pro provide this information. Now, the problem, how, however, the data available may be may not exist in many countries or may be outdated because, uh, the, for example, the, the countries might not have um, the funding to to maintain the data, and in some other. Uh, Situations data might not be findable or accessible. This is also true, I would say, for Germany, and or they do not really fit the need of the people. And it is imp very important, in my opinion, and this is something which I try to push forward 
in, ähm, in, äh, in my state, Baden-Württemberg, uh, to make such fundamental data sets uh, accessible, uh, findable, accessible, interoperable, and R, I forgot R, it's the last term. Uh, okay, and this can be done, for example, uh, to make this data available uh, to um, to integrate the output of, of remote sensing technologies and to integrate volunteer geography um, as we can find in OpenStreetMap data and in citizen science. Okay, uh, so the goals were analysis to just one specific data set regarding the, the so-called building stock. And what we did is we compared the German catastrophe data providing by the public state mapping agency in, uh, in German called Landesamt für Geoinformation für Geo und Landentwicklung, abbreviated LGL in the form uh, in uh, furthermore, and to some extent uh, to catastro data provided by mun municipal surveying institutions, especially in the state of Baden-Württemberg, and compare these of official data sets with the data of the OpenStreetMap community regarding quality and currency of the data, and also to get an understanding how uh, the, the data how this data might be similar or what might be the differences between these different data sets. The research study is Baden-Württemberg, what you can see here. It's in the southwest part of Germany, maybe going to France and Switzerland, and here you have Lake Constance, and uh, our capital is Stuttgart, and we took these uh, sites here um, representing different levels of um, municipalities, uh, like smaller ones, medium ones, and larger ones. Large means like 50,000 inhabitants, not really large on a global scale. Um, well, about the data I mentioned before, uh, it's catastrophe data. The abbreviation in German is called ALKIS, uh, like automatic, uh, catastrophal information system, something like, like that, and uh, provided by the state mapping agency um, upon request, and it's not available for free at, at all, I would say, especially in our state. You have to register, and it's still difficult, and you have to pay for every piece of, of data. And also the, the data formats, the data encoding, encoding used, are somehow limited. There's some specific format which is called NAS, basically it's a GML variant, and DXF. This is not, not very flexible. What they do, yes. And the OSM, OpenStreetMap, you may know, the largest volunteer geographic information with human sensors. And it's open, it's fair, and it's provided through APIs from decentralized data repositories. But compared to official uh, data, there are not, not, not any declarations or regulations regarding the completeness and quality. It's just volunteer information. In our study, we did data retrieval from Geofabrics. It's a, uh, company in my, my hometown, which offers several kind of data sets very close to open source and open data. And in addition, we uh, used for comparison purpose aerial, photo, our aerial photographs derived from the LGL. Um, those regarding the analysis, we use something like in the section of union, I will explain in the next uh, slide. Some, we did some difference calculation, the overlap between OSM building and Alkis, the foot, footprint. And then we did try to do a verification of regarding quality and currency of the data, compared it with aerial photographs and did some further analysis in QGIS and uh, in the OpenStreetMap 
editor. The intersection of union can be used as a measure of similarity of quantities, as especially in this case, building geometries. Basically, what, what we do is, we, if we compare two uh, special features, we, we uh, calculate the area of overlap, and we calculate the area of union of the both features, and then we calculate uh, the quotient and that's the intersection of union. And this, the result is an indicator about the similarity of these two, uh, of these two geometries regarding the, the space covered um, in the map. And we have se several um, values here uh, indicating for a low level medium level or high level of similarity between these two um, geometries regarding the area they cover. And we did some difference calculation. We, we looked for the overlap. The uh, sigma, uh, we have uh, overhang of Alkis data compared to the other sigma data on and certificate vice versa. So we have an overhang of home street map compared to the Alkis buildings. And uh, then we went through these different municipalities and I'm going to through and show and share some of the results. We started with Volketshausen, it's a small uh, municipality with about 3,000 uh, inhabitants and five square kilometers. And what you can see, uh, if you compare Alkis buildings, the number of Alkis buildings and the number of OSM buildings, then you see already a um, significant difference. Basically, I found this interesting because I, th I usually um, Germany is very well covered in open street map. This was my conviction, and there are many parts where you have to search carefully to find something which is apparently not mapped. But if you do some analysis, you, you can detect significant differences, surprisingly for me. And uh, in the following examples, you, you can easily recognize certain sleep map buildings in you and the uh, Alkis buildings uh, from the cadastral map in uh, dash in black. And in the background, we still have the OpenStreetMap Open uh, data themselves. And what you can, and you can easily visually detect where um, OpenStreetMap data are, are, are missing. And as well, what we can see is that. Um, the catastrophe data uh, present much more details regarding the geometrical structure. And I will give some explanations later. But of course, if you, if you go out and want to do some mapping, and you just use your, your mobile, for example, or a GPS device, you can easily perhaps uh, uh, create such a, such a shape a rectangular shape, but not such a, a difficult one. Which might not be feasible for, uh, how should I say, un, an unprofessional map mapless. Um, and in, uh, then we compared uh, uh, new building areas where uh, buildings are newly, newly constructed, and we could see that there's really a, a However, a significant lack of currency of the Alkis data, because the official official surveyors uh, need, uh, yeah, need need uh, still how say, a couple of years or five years or seven years until they really uh, are able to, to collect the data. Um, and uh, in some cases, OpenStreetMap data are much more current. But as I mentioned before, that's 
regarding the geometric quality, however, uh, cadastral data are much better compared to the open secret data. What you can see here is you use just some kind of building block. And, but if you, um, but the cadastral data show a lot of details about the construction of, of the building. And this goes on uh, also for other um, municipalities like uh, Steislingen, which is, is a little bit la larger. And you can see that uh, some uh, several buildings are missing on the street map, and especially some small buildings are missing uh, as well, because perhaps the members are not motivated or cannot enter uh, the, the parcel to really collect the data accordingly. And similar things uh, go on and go on. And what we are also discovered in some parts that we have uh, a significant distortion, like a shift in northeast direction, because the open street map buildings in blue might have been digitized um, uh, on, on screen, and perhaps the, um, the imagery was not well rectified. And then you have a systematic error Regarding, regarding the location of the data. Um, yes, due to lack of time, let me um, move, move on um, to some other examples. Uh, for ex now we are in a city called Singen, about 50,000 inhabitants. What we notice here is that some things which are not visible cannot be found in all the street and the state, like underground parkings. Uh, but nevertheless, the official surveyors have to, to, uh, to, to survey also such, such buildings. And, but the other things like shopping center, constructed in 2020, it's visible in open street map, but not yet in in the official data, and you can imagine it's just a huge building. And if anybody does any analysis or uh, plans re regarding the situation, he will not have the uh, uh, the buildings the, this building in the cadastral map. Okay, let me skip a few things. We continued with Fellbach. And what we noticed is as, as well, as I mentioned before, that often small buildings are missing in, in OpenStreetMap. Okay, then we had one idea uh, uh, if it would be possible to use so called site plans to improve uh, or to collect data for OpenStreetMap. Uh, quite high quality. A site plan is like a, uh, a, a detailed plan of the architect or, or civil, civil engineer, and the con construction of the building is based on this uh, site plan. And then the idea was that if, it, if we can get these site plans, then we could integrate uh, the site plan perhaps directly into OpenStreetMap in a digital way, or use it as a background. Yes, I see the time and uh, use it. And we ha had at least one example. And, and this is was a site plan. And of course, then it was realized according to the site plan. And, um, and then this is the cadastral data fit very well to the site plan, but compared to OpenStreetMap. There is still a lack of geometrical accuracy. Yes. Okay. Well, ba basically, okay, let me summarize regarding cur currency. We, we, we can say in some areas, open street map is more current, in some areas, uh, secretarial data are more current. This means this depends a, a lot. Uh, uh, 
about the area you, you're work, working on. Um, the data quality, um, if we com compare, uh, we, in, we have a increasing level here of this intersection of union. Like we have a quite high level of similarity in, uh, in, in Siegen compared to Scheißing and Wolfshausen. And But this is, can be interesting because Singen is a municipality with its own surveying department. And the own surveying department can be more motivated to deliver good quality and fast quality to update the data. Um, regarding oh, street map, we have to admit that the geometric structure of buildings is often quite simple too simple for many purposes. And um, regarding Alkis, nevertheless, we can, the data might not be current, but definitely we have high geometrical uh, quality. And, but regarding, but so these data are not free. And okay, these were our findings. For me, they were surprising, uh, but you have to consider the scale. It's like 1 to 5,000 to 1 to, to 2,500. And regarding other purposes or topographical data, the results might be, might be different. And therefore, for each, I think for each project, you have to analyze and compare, try to compare in advance um, official cadastral data and open street map data and make your decision how to proceed. <laughs>